Hi there, welcome to Elm Colors. I'm Erica, and on today's video, I'm going to be doing a flip through and a little bit of chatting about this lovely book, um, which I still don't know the exact name of, but it's something like Dream Room or <laughs> something, something similar to that. If anybody knows for sure what it is in the comments, let me know. Um, but I do know that it's by this artist, which I will put on screen right now so that I don't mangle her name. Um, yeah, and let's just get started flipping through. So this does have a book jacket on it, and then there's a nice craft cover front and back. It's got a little white printed um, image on it. Um, the book measures about, it's about the same size as like a Johanna Basford book. So it's, what is that? About 11 by 12-ish. Um, so uh, let's just get started. So there's a lovely title page. And then here it talks, there's a message from the artist and a really cute little illustration on this side. And then um, it talks in here about what's in the very back of the book, which is there's this cute little dollhouse set up and a bunch of little things that you can cut out and color and stick on there. So that's really cute. Um, and then we get right in. So each of these um, houses, which let me show you that in the back. So each house, oh, and you can kind of see where I did a little bit of a test to see what kind of, see if watercolor materials would work. Um, each house is is a different room that she's gone to. And then she kind of like, there's different scenes within that quote unquote house. So this one is just, I think this is the greenhouse. Um, which turns out really cute. I love all of the illustrations that are in this book. Um, this will lay pretty flat, but as you can see, there's still gonna be a little bit of a gap in here, unless you really break the spine, which I don't really wanna do that at this moment in time. Um, but yeah, so lovely greenhouse settings. All of this is very reminiscent. I love the little tea here that's got flowers floating in it. It's so cute. Um, and then this one is called, I think, something similar to the kitchen house, which is, um, I'm guessing like, like bakery or something like that. But when I did Google Translate on the back, it said kitchen house. Um, but yeah, so here's the kitchen where she's baking up some stuff. And then a lovely table full of treats. And then this one, um, <laughs> the Google Translate had a tough time telling me what this one was, but I believe that it is um, like the, the dressmaker shop, basically. So there's lots of different clothes and jewelry and hats and things for the the girl and then there's like this whole page that kind of looks like a those paper dolls that you used to have so really cute this one just says one story house but this is all very um a japanese style home um so the sliding doors and um low furniture things like that it's really cute this one is, I don't remember if this one is like Enchanted House or I don't know exactly what this one said, but that's okay because it's still really, really cute. And here she's sitting in the top of the tower painting what she sees around her because you can kind of see that from this picture. So she's up in this little window right here which is really cute. This one was the winter house. Lots of really, really cute pictures to color for Christmas time. I love all of these ones. This one is the tree house, which again, I really love. I think this is adorable. Super, super cute. This one is the underground house. So you can see she's going down into the stairwell. 
and then all the way down, and then there's all these hidden rooms down there. It's very, um, like a, like a, what were those called? A speakeasy, kind of, like a hidden bar. So, that's what that reminds me of. This is the train room. Which is, again, really cute. Then this was the, I think it said beach house, maybe? That would make the most sense to me. Everything's very beachy. I love this little shell mirror, that's so cute. And then this one was the hidden room. That's what this one was. So she's opening a secret bookcase and coming into this room where she can sit and read and dream to her heart's content. Ooh, and study the stars. So yeah, and um, you can see like here, I used watercolors on the other side and it did not bleed through. It buckled the page very, very slightly, but hardly at all. Once you color over that with um, colored pencils, it'll be, you'll be good to go. Um, and then here's where it lists each of the different houses. This would be a great place to test your mediums. Or if you wanted to do little scenes of each of the um, houses, that'd be fun too. And then in the back here, this is your, these are all of the um, images that you can color and cut out. And then here is the house that you can color and cut out. And then you set it up, I'm guessing this way, and put all the stuff inside there. So that's a fun little thing to do for like a little kid maybe. Or, I mean, if you want to set it up, <laughs> have at it. I think it's, it'll be fun to color. So that was this lovely book from this beautiful artist, which I will put on screen again here. And um, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye. Bye.